Today I will show you how to install the Flutter SDK on a window. The first one you must access to the website Flutter.dev. Uh, and after that you click on get started. And after that you uh, click on the windows here. And on the windows here you must see that the system requirements. You must ensure that the, your operating system must either Windows 7 or higher. Um, Maybe that is better is Windows 10 because if you are installing Windows 10, you don't need to um, install the Windows Power Cell because it's a free install on Windows 10. But maybe that is the case that you don't have uh, Windows 10, uh, so that you click on here to uh, install this. Okay, you mm, close here. Okay, you can see here Windows 10 is if. Mm, Free install the um, power cells um, fiber one. Maybe that um, on the window A on the seven. Maybe that you can click on here to download the window the window power cell. Click on here. Click on here. Okay, and you can download your um, this version is suitable for your um, windows. Uh, what our is city A here. Uh, CT86 here is the Windows 7, uh, Windows 7 with 32 bit version, and uh, 64 here is the Windows 7 with 64 bit version, and that's the same with Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 here. Okay, uh, now I come back to the first uh, install the first uh, SD. Okay. Next, I will go to the next part and uh, get the Fluster SDK. Um, to get the Fluster SDK, the first you must download the fl Fluster window here. You click on here, and it will download. It's maybe that is it is six for six megabytes. So we must wait for a minute. Mm, after download here, you will see the Fluster. See the file here. Okay, that's here. After you uh, exact, it will be display as the fluster here. So you um, can to any place that you want to put a fluster file here. And next, I will go to the next um, next mm, chosen. Okay. Uh, the next step after. You extract the uh, Fluster SDK file. Uh, that's you go to the next step. This is a very important step because if we are lacking up this step, maybe that your Fluster cannot run. Okay, to do this step, the first you must go to Star Source Bar and enter the ENV here. You go here, the, the, that is Star button. You type the ENV. A and V, and you can see here that it displays that we will set the environment path for Flutter. You click on here, and maybe that you can see here the environment variables. You click on environment for variables here, and next you go to variable path here. You go to the path here, okay. You click on new, you click on browse. And you can see, and you, you will find the location that you uh, put the Fluster SDK. And now I will find it here. Okay, that's there. The Fluster here. I click on here, and next you go on Fluster, and next you will find the bin file here. Okay, you click on bin file here. Okay, and you click on OK. You can check here Fluster Fluster slash bin. That's okay. Uh, you click OK, OK, and continue OK. And next, you will check. You will check if whether your search path is successful or not. You will press on here. On the search bar, you uh, type the CMD. That's the command line. Okay, you click on here, and you type the flutter. You press OK. If this is 
display anything. Only that is some error here. That means that some text of your is have the error. But maybe that is it displays like this. And your setup is successful. Okay. Okay. After uh, install the variable path of the first study is okay. That is the successful. And after that, we'll go to the next step. This is run the Flutter Daughter. Flutter Daughter will check our system is the have the full part is of the Flutter or not. Okay, and we can go to here. We can tie the Flutter Daughter. If our daughter uh, is just case that your system is enough for run uh, the Flutter or not. Okay, we will wait a little bit. Okay, you can see the first here. We are already uh, installed the flutter and this is the flutter. And maybe that on this time, you just require, uh, you just um, satisfy this um, condition is that enough. And another part, don't worry, we will have you install on the next part. I will continue to have you how to uh, set up on the Android. Uh, the first thing you can follow this guy here. There's an Android setup. Uh, you can go to the install Android Studio over here, and you can download and install Android Studio. You click on here, and uh, it will uh, automatically um, download for you. Okay. Uh, you can s click on the button download Android Studio. And you click on I have read a read and download the rest of the windows and you must uh, wait for uh, uh, a little bit. I will stop on this video here to uh, wait for your download for save your time. Thank you. Mm, okay, and after you download it, it will um, show the task by the finish here. But maybe that I um, maybe that is lost. You can go to uh, the this button. You can go to download, and you can see it here. After that, you can uh, click on this to um, to open this, and wait for a little bit. It will uh, display here for you, and you can choose. Is stone Android Studio? Okay, uh, because that I found it here. Okay, and that uninstalled my Android Studio. Yes. I will reveal uh, Edify, yes. And then go to this to set up under Scratch. Okay, you can plus Nest, also Nest. And you can see the zero RAM here. You can choose this place that's boot your Android Studio here. And you can choose the default location or change the location. It, it depends on you. Okay, you can click on the test. Okay, uh, and also next. And if you want to create a shortcut on the desktop, you can click on this person. Or not, you can next. You can click on install. And you can wait for a little bit. Okay, now I will continue. You can click on the next. And it's set up is uh, successfully. Okay, it will display uh, the, the IDE here. You when you display this, uh, it is successfully right. Okay, you can load for something. Yes, uh, loading for check. And it is saying something because that I um mm, I open. Uh, new project here, so maybe that is will display here as mm, before. But maybe that if you um, you add a new, you don't install something. Please refer our clip about Flutter basic installation on my OS because this is the same. It is different with uh, OS. 
people that is selling in the Mac OS. If you have any stock, please go ahead here. Go to the UDIS um, IDE. You can click on File. You go to Setting, and it will display here. That's the plugin. Okay, and you try to do. Uh, you install everything you want. And here is this for you. You can uh, click on Flutter to uh, <coughs> install some DBDC that Flutter need. <coughs> First, it Flutter, right? Second, Flutter snippet, and first the E I N D L. So the I they will help you to translate your um, uh, your language. Let's reinstall and many many is plugin here. Okay, I just installed the three packages here, and it depends on you. You can install whichever you want. Okay. AV device that is set up your Android device here. Press the Control Shift and A. Okay, that's the display here, and you can search for the AVD Manager. Okay, and you click on here, and with that, um, the window will display. Okay, and now this is your virtual device, right? You can click on the create AV virtual device here and create your. Uh, um, with your uh, visual device that you want you can click on phone okay phone um, phone TV wireless tablet and anymore but my that I will uh, guide you to install the phone here right okay you can go uh, you can choose one device that you want to install Okay, uh, you can go with us the Pixel A A3 ASL, right? Uh, we click on Next, and you can choose the um, Android version that you want. Here, I, I have the um, Android 10, so I choose Android 10. If you want to uh, install some uh, OS that lower, you can download it here. Android 8.1, A7, uh, 6501, okay? okay. Okay, you can click on this, and you can click our um, AVD name here. You can uh, push it on the normal. It depends on you, or you can change this name here. Something like that, and it depends on you. Okay, we will read name on default. You can choose the landscape or the portrait here, traffic, something. And that you can click on finish. It will uh, create your virtual device here. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Hello everyone. And next I will have you have to um, install Android Studio Code. Firstly, you must um, click on the dollar for Windows here and to download Android Studio Visual Studio Code, right? Okay, we we'll click on here. And this is automatically dollar for you. Load it from Mac OS on the Linux. Um, just click on here, and it will download it for you. And we must wait for a little bit. That is not too long, right? This load finished. You can click on here. If you open the Visual Store installer, you can click on the Create Desktop icon. It's the color here. Um, anything that you want, you can nest here. You can nest. Okay, and it is installed. Some way that after install, because that it add uh, the variable path, so it will re restart the computer. Please notice this from that. Okay. Uh, okay. Luckily, that's not restart now. And if you want to install the plugin you can click on here and you can search here maybe that a flutter right okay flutter okay you can uh, install the flutter with the most a lot here I will feel I already install here you can click uh, I will fry another one and snip it no okay for example right you can click on install here it will install it for you 
or you can uh, here you must install on that because that uh, it is the same with the Android Studio right you can click here and it will installing wait for a little bit and okay this is installed on your computer okay and you can choose any bracket or that you want to install it here okay thank you Okay, hello everyone. And as I will uh, guide you how to uh, install the Flash Store app. Okay, the first uh, you must have the resource uh, of the Flash Store app, right? After that, it's that is to the Flash Store here, and you have to find here, right? Okay, and next uh, you can use the Visual Studio and Android Studio to uh, um, install this. Um, uh, firstly, I will um, install with Android Studio. You can open Android Studio and wait for a little bit for it run. Okay, you continue to wait. That's the a little bit long, right? Okay, and close here. You can uh, click on file here. <coughs> you will click open, and you you will find the flood store. Okay, okay, I will set it again. Flood store. Okay, that's here, right? You get here. You can click on here, and you can. Uh, Click on source here, right? You click here, right? Okay, press OK. You can go ahead. Okay, you can have the source of flush now here. Open, okay. <coughs> and next, you must go to uh, the first spec jam. You uh, click on the pocket to get the dependencies of this store. And you must wait a little bit. Okay, after get all of this here, you can see the uh, leaf right here. Okay, so it's also had the raw height, right? Okay, you click here to fit this raw. Get it when you see. Okay, that is fit only raw. So that you can get a break. That you upgrade your uh, dependency and wait for a little bit. May that is take a long or short, it depends on your um, internet connection. Okay, I will start. Okay, that's it finished. Luckily. Okay, and you can go uh, run the Flutter Daughter to check whether that you enough. Uh, to run the app or not, it have any error. You must come back, uh, watch this video again, and finish. Okay, wait a little bit to flush the router. Check your computer status. Okay, that is no easy for the Visual Studio Code install. I write you connect this device, my Android Studio. Okay, and it is that is um, available here, right? And then you open the Android emulator. You click on uh, Control Shift A, and you search for AVD Manager. When it here, you have two devices here, and so that I will test on device that I gave you before, not this, uh, uh, right? Okay, and click on here to launch this AVD in the emulator, and you wait um, a little bit to start in the AVD. Okay. Okay. Don't care about this. That's the just the some tune that I installed for uh, uh, see my uh, computer resources. You don't you don't need to care about that. Okay, wait a little bit for it uh, starting the emulator. 
Okay, pistol is not in, right? Okay. Okay, that is the uh, start it successfully, and then you can click on uh, this button to run Android Studio app and wait for a little bit for running the greater task. Uh, on this time, you can start a coffee or um, drink, uh, drink water. On this time wait for this learning the radar you can go on to the is by you uh, you can go YouTube uh, you can style the is by your eye to, to watch more video about the first store or some product of my company on this uh, channel or maybe that you can uh, go to uh, docs doc inspire com. Uh, we have the many many data documents here you can read it be uh, carefully uh, uh, before you install it read with your website where the commerce magento open card multi vendor right uh, customization uh, many many things there uh, so that um, if you want to uh, get more products here we have the many many products here Made out of flash news, that is application about um, the news application, right? Let's new here, right? Or uh, you can uh, get a flash builder. This builder will uh, help you um, to build your app or get your app more more efficiently. Okay. Or sometimes many many uh, things here right? you can find out more about this uh, but that, uh, if you are react native we also have the application about react native here okay thank you I will come back okay is the still running right mm, okay I will stop video for a little bit for it running because that is taking too long and we will take you know, too much time. Um, okay. Uh, if you uh, miss this situation, uh, you don't care about that. You can keep it running. I don't care about that. And after that, uh, if it's uh, display this line, it's a way that you can you build the list list of apps successfully. Okay, build install it something like that, right? Many 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 things here. Okay, and this is an assembly. And now we can check the results. Okay, you can you can see here. It's display automatically after you run it. I say again that you miss this situation. You don't need to do anything. You can keep going for its um view and don't care about it. Okay, until that is um have this line, so this is okay. And if it don't have this this line, you can run it again. And now we can see here, right? You can get next, next, and next. Flush star. Okay. Yes. Okay, that's okay. Okay, thank you. And next, I will have you how to install it in uh, Visual Studio. Thank you. And now I will get you how to install it in Visual Studio Code. I recommend that you uh, can use. Uh, uh, Android Studio that is so convenient or doing something okay I will stop it for uh, solder okay we will close uh, this emulator 
and close Android Studio. Okay, and now uh, we open the Visual Studio Core. Right? Wait a little bit to for it open. Okay, and we will click on the add folder here. Okay, add folder here. That's maybe that uh, you can find the uh, first store. Okay, put one here. Uh, add it here so that it's display here. You can click on first store 1.7.4. Uh, that's new, right? Okay, um, you, you can see the source new, right? Okay, you click on uh, open uh, in the terminal and you uh, do this first. You must uh, check whether is the um, ready or not. You can run the Flutter daughter to check is the status of uh, your computer that's the ready to run this app or not okay that is no easier for now okay let's uh, go to the bub spec jam right uh, bub, bub spec jam you can uh, tie to, okay fill up the bub get and wait a little bit to is uh, get the flutter uh, okay, go to flutter bub uh, dash dash um, upray. We're gonna find option upray, right? Bup. Bup. right. And you can run the command flutter bub upray and wait for a little bit to upray your devices. After the after the running of um, fill the bub get and fill up the bub upray and now we uh, run the flutter run to run our app. Wait a little bit. That's not that, that's not too way. You can open the. Okay. Can open Android Studio, and you open the Android emulator again. If you forget something, please go to first to the here. You can uh, maybe the manager, right? Uh, we'll go a little bit, okay. We're not AVD manager, okay. I will wipe, wipe the data here. That's the delete all the data on uh, this device, right? You can click on here to starting the AVD. Wait for a little bit, okay. And you can close it here, don't care about that. Just keep the Android emulator here. I will run the flutter daughter again to check whether that this is file open or not and you continue to wait for a little bit and as you can type the command that flutter run wait for a little bit Okay, I will stop video for uh, for save your time. Okay, and we continue. Uh, so that um, you must base uh, extension here uh, because that we have two devices. Uh, first one is Windows, the second one is the Android Studio. Yeah, and you want to check uh, uh, which device is available. You can go. Uh, 
go ahead with the command uh, flutter devices okay and it will list out all devices that are available here as well that you can uh, choose this you can uh, uh, because that uh, we uh, want to run now it in uh, Android Studio you can choose uh, emulator 554 here you copy it and you can go on uh, flutter run slash d and paste the name here all that you can run on window you can do on so that you can press enter and wait for a little bit okay run in a, a greater task like uh, android studio and this rest is taking too long so we will stop video now uh, for save your time okay and next we continue after it run here right you can uh, see it here that's the building and you can see that here after we uh, run the emulator here that is not have uh, the, uh, the same red light as the Android Studio okay you can see it here that's the build successfully install it here and you can see here Okay, thank you. Uh, thanks for watching this video. This guy will finish here. Uh, goodbye and have a good day.